Hi friends, author Diana Del Russo here. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, for those of you coming uh, to my channel for the first time, I am a children's author. I do have three books published and I enjoy uh, family videos as well. So I hope you will look around my channel, check out some of my family friendly videos and if you see anything you like, I hope you'll subscribe and come back here often. Uh, today is Wednesday and so the plan for Wednesday is um, writing tips. I have been published since 2007 and over the years I've had similar or the same questions asked over and over again. Um, people want to know, you know what it's like to be a published author. They want to know how did I start writing? When did I start writing? They want to know um, how do I come up with my ideas? How do I come up with characters? How do I decide on a title? Um, who does the illustrations? You know, there's lots of questions and so I thought I would every Wednesday do a quick little video here and answer those questions for you. So uh, I'm going to start with where to start and for me I start with ideas and there can be many ideas. Some develop and some don't. Um, a lot of ideas come from inspiration. There's different ways you to be inspired but for me a lot of my ideas come from dreams. Um, I do tend to remember most of my dreams and so a lot of times I'll have a dream about something and I'll be like, wow, that was kind of weird, you know, what was that all about? And I'll start just writing things down. Um, so the, if you don't dream, if you're not a dreamer, then the other place ideas can come from is inspiration. You know, you can get inspired through nature, uh, through the, you go to the beach, you go to the mountains, you people watch, um, watch how kids and animals interact. Um, there's different ways to be inspired and I can remember being in a baseball game with my husband one time there was a couple of kids and They just were playing around. They just inspired me and it was adorable and so I had some characters come out of that, but um, So inspiration comes in many forms and different ways for different people and if you just start taking all these different ideas and different thoughts that you have and you just start putting them down on paper or you put them uh, on the computer and you just see what sticks, put them out there, see what sticks, and don't worry about rhyme or reason, don't worry about making sense, you know, it's just play time. For me, um, creative time, idea time is play time, you know, you just put it all out there and you start asking questions and you just try to um, see what, what develops, see what turns into something. Um, I can remember back in junior high, I'd wa walk into a classroom and there was these, a series of words written on the board and on the blackboard actually and so now I'm dating myself because it was a blackboard um, and you know it, these words we were challenged that day to come up with a character whether it was a boy or girl or, or an animal or dog you know something like that come up with a character and ask all these words these questions who what where when how why and what if and so let's say you picked a dog and you'd say, well, you know, who is this dog? Where, where is he going? What is he doing? Why is he doing that? Um, what if he did this? What if he went there? You know, you just put these words with your little um, imaginary character and then that start leads in, that leads into more questions. It leads into more um, ideas. And I have a saying, creativity creates creativity. I feel like when you're, being creative when you're writing when you're being creative then you open your mind to um, kind of open the floodgates and you allow more imagination to continue and more creativity and more ideas to come and so it just snowballs from there um, and then you know eventually once you're going through this process your characters start to develop you're thinking well maybe this dog runs into a child or maybe you know another animal and so your characters then start to come out and start to develop um, and then you start uh, places you know where are we where are we going and places start to develop and so before you know it you know you might have the beginnings of a story you might have nothing and you might have to start all over and that's okay um, you know again it's it, this isn't a time to try to be perfect you don't want to worry about your your grammar you don't want to worry about your punctuation or your spelling you just want to play you just want to be creative and just throw these ideas out there and uh, you know sometimes for me I have to step away 
sometimes um, you know I get busy and I have to go do something else and so I'll save everything and then come back maybe a day later maybe a week later a month later and look at that same series of notes you know same series of just stuff that's written down there and all of a sudden it looks different all of a sudden it makes sense differently and so then I will pull out what makes sense to me pull out what I like pull out what what resonates with me and then that can turn into something down the road so sometimes you just have to step away from it and go back to it but that's how I get started with ideas that's how I get started with um, just random ideas random thoughts and that hopefully will turn into characters and will turn into stories which will turn into books um, so anyway I hope that helped you I just wanted to keep it short and simple and on that topic for right now um, we do need to talk about developing characters and developing storylines and outlining and things like that. So that will be on another video. So I hope you enjoyed this Wednesday quick tip of um, ideas and how to get ideas and where to find them and how to create them and play with them a little bit. Um, if you have something of interest to you that you would like me to talk about or if you have a question, please put it in the comments below. If you liked what we talked about today, then please give me a thumbs up on the like button below this video. I greatly appreciate that. Um, if you have not subscribed, please check out my other videos. I've got some great family friendly, family friendly videos for you to check out. Say that 10 times fast. And um, I hope you will subscribe to this channel. Please share my video and my, cha and my channel with your friends and anyone who you know who loves children's books, please share. Um, I also am on social media, um, all the different platforms out there, so whichever one is your favorite, check me out. I'm on uh, Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, all over. Plus I have my own website, it's www.dianadelrusso.com and I'll put that link down below for you as well. And if you will check that out, there's got plenty of great pictures from way over the years, all the way back from probably 2007, all the different charity events, um, all the different children, uh, different schools. A lot of fun video uh, pictures there and then also there's a calendar of events there as well so check it out um, thank you again for watching I greatly appreciate each and every one of you and um, hope to see you next time